Hello everyone. Today our topic is Big Bang model. Big Bang model is the simplest model in the software development life cycle. It requires this planning, lots of coding or programming, and lots of funds. The name Big Bang model was set after the Great Big Bang, which led to the development of galaxies, stars, planets, etc. In the same manner, this software development life cycle model combines time, efforts, and resources to build a software product. The product is built as the requirements from the user come. However, the end product might not meet the actual requirements. In this model, we do not follow any specific process. The development just starts with the required money and the force as the input, and the output is the software developed. So all the resources, or most of them, are thrown toward development. This model works best for small projects with a smaller size development team, which are working together. It's also useful for academic software development projects. It's an ideal model where requirements is either unknown or final release date is not given. Most of the students' projects and assignments are performed using this model. Big Bang model is focusing on all types of resources in software development and coding with no or very little planning. In this model, we develop software by using time, resources, and the parts as inputs. The produced software may or may not meet the client requirements. Usually, this model is suitable for small projects with one or two developers working together to build a software application. It's a good model for the software product where requirements are not clear or not understood and there is no release date for the software product. Next applications of Big Bang model. It's recommended to go for the Big Bang model only due to the following cases. The project is small with one or two developers developing a project for learning purposes or experiment purposes. No clarity on the requirements from the user side. When new requirements need to be implemented immediately, changing requirements based on the current developing product outcome. No strict guideline on product release or delivery date. This model is not suitable for the software industry to develop a big project as a highly risk model. Advantages of the Big Bang model are simple model and easy to implement, suitable for small projects, easy to manage, requires zero planning, resources necessary for developing the product is only a few. It's a cost effective since it requires fewer resources, less developers, and this managing cost. Flexible for developers, no release date for deployment. It produces good developer. However, the Big Bang model has the following disadvantages. As there is no proper planning in this model, it's considered the worst as DLC model and is highly unsuitable for large projects. It's an extremely risky model. It has uncertainty in nature. Might be expensive if requirements are not clear. This model provides less return on investment as the product did not use the global market. For today, that's all. Thank you.